Good morning. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you have your wheat bix? It's a beet bix. Yeah, did you eat it all? Um, uh, in your it's belly? It's gone. It's all gone now? In your belly. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> We're hiking out to Jurama Falls. Jurama. 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 Jurama National Park. We're actually camping here too, so not far down the road. We have our van parked up. It's a really nice spot We're in the rainforest. No reception, and in the rainforest it's been raining. So Jurama Falls National Park is located about 100 kilometers north of Townsville, and National Park camping fees apply. It's six bucks per adult. So it's pretty cheap to stay here. You have to be pretty well self-sufficient. There is a water tap, but it's not potable water. So we've just been using that for showering, which has been nice. We're slowly still heading north, but with the rain being as prevalent as it has been, we may be making a U-turn very soon. Should probably be a bit more specific on that whole rain situation. So for those of you that don't know, North Queensland is in the tropics and the tropics has a wet season, which we are basically in Right now, we were kind of fingers crossed it hold out till the new year, but um, judging by the last few days, doesn't seem to be the case. We just come down this little track to this creek, which is, I guess, part of the Drummer Falls. Drummer Falls is probably further up that direction. We'll have a sit, yeah, have a sit. Sit, 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 good boy. Hey, the turtle. The turtle? Where's the turtle? One over there. There? Big. Antonia is just setting up the GoPro underwater to see if any little turtles or anything come to suss it out. Right, that's the end of that nature documentary. We're gonna keep moving. Keep cruising up, checking out the rock pools. Man, just here behind me, these like little green ants have got this bee and they're like, I think they're gonna eat it. Nature's crazy, man. Like I wanna help him, but that's, <laughs> that's nature. Unreal. I feel like I'm doing a nature documentary walking through here. There's just so much alive, so much happening. No, you don't walk climb over, you climb around. Even these wild kids. I'm loving it though, hey. Yeah. so much you can adventure I guess from the rock pools all the way down there you can make your way up basically along the rocks the whole way it's so it's fun man nah nice place to cool off too it's a super quiet spot too we haven't seen anybody which is awesome so yeah we're just gonna hang out at the top of this waterfall here and um, 
Do our thing. All it's the way until it gets tight. That's it, man. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Is that tight? Cool, man. So we've just gone back from our little walk. We didn't actually take the uphill track that takes you to the top of the falls. Um, we're more into the rock pools and that kind of stuff. And you could actually see the waterfall from the rock pools. So that was pretty cool. But we need to go find some reception now and pack up and keep on moving. So I don't know. See you guys when I see ya. Yeah. Man, it's hot. You're shiny hot. I'm so hot, man. Man's hot. Man's hot. I'm sticky. Alright. Get out of this stinking hot caravan and go for a swim. Where's the right key? Here we go. That it? Nope. It's fine. Sorted. Oh, do you got the keys? Yeah, I got the keys. Sweet, so we just parked our caravan up. Here at a mobile service station, not far from Little Crystal Creek. That's where we're heading. So I don't know what the road's like out there, how we're going to go parking and turning around. So I'm just leaving the van here at the servo. Check with the attendant and it's all good. So, happy days. You got me, babe? Am I on? Are we live? Yeah. Sweet. So to break up all our waterfall footage, and a truck, so I'm in here of us going to Magnetic Island, which is just off Townsville. Locals call it Maggie Island. We went all touristy, did something a bit different, and got a barge over there, uh, sorry, a passenger ferry over there and hired a car, stayed in the hotel. Um, it was a pretty cool little trip, cool experience, so I'll chuck those clips on now for you. Bit of brekkie there, bad. Honestly, <laughs> need it after this morning. We really nearly missed our ferry. The boys have just been emotional. And yeah, we just got a text saying that we, the car hire company that we're hiring our car from for today, aren't doing courtesy bus, so Antonio needs to walk 15 minutes up the street. So, <laughs> yup. <laughs> Good fun, man. So I've got my my chai latte from this cafe behind me. Really good cafe. Good dirty chai. Good dirty chai. Good dirty yeah. chai, yeah. And I'm gonna go get a cup. Oh, this car's so different to ours. So we've just hired our sick little golden beast. Toyota RAV4 to get around on the island. I don't think I've told you guys yet. So we actually decided to come to Magnetic Island like 3 p.m. yesterday afternoon. We're here because we want to head out to Magnetic Island. So we're trying to organize that now to head out there tomorrow. We're cruising to Townsville and we're like, let's see if we can get over here. Made a phone call and yeah, they made it happen. That's what I honestly love about, I don't know, Northern Queensland. I've had this experience before. You can just book things last minute and it seems to work yeah. out. Nice little place, eh? It's not bad. Yeah, not bad. Give you guys a run through of our last minute accommodation. <laughs> Shani and Tony's bed, right here. Leo's bed down there. That's not Leo, that's Braxton. <laughs> Braxton's bed up here. Bathroom in there. That's me in the mirror. See me? <laughs> All right. You know what's my favorite? What's your favourite? They've got these little palm trees painted on the bricks. That's cool as. Yeah. Really nice couple. Cool. Yeah. Let's go see the island. We literally haven't got any of our gear charged at all, so it's all kind of... They're charging at the moment. Super organised. No plans to make plans. I reckon. So guys, we're just down here at Cockle Bay. Leah's had his sleep, so we're heading to go get some fish and chips. We wanted to call in here because there's a shipwreck offshore. We might go check that out. But Cockle Bay is also a clothing optional beach. We may see some cockles. Um, <laughs> also, check the name of this boat out in Cockle Bay. This guy here is clearly hunting clams <laughs> in Cockle Bay. Clothing optional. Very appropriate boat for this area. Unreal. 
So it looks like Leo and I here have left the team behind. Johnny's way back over there somewhere. And like in every episode up here in North Queensland, guys, it's blowing its tits off. Where's this shipwreck? Oh, I can see it! You guys probably see it too, Jess. Out there, it's a little dot in the camera. I will get the drone up here. Not now, though. I'll wait for the high tide to come in, and it'll look real cool, I reckon, with all the water around it. SS City of Adelaide is one of many shipwrecks around the island. It was an 80 metre long passenger ferry launched from Scotland in 1863. Then after a couple of decades, it was converted to store and transport coal. But in 1912, the coal caught fire and the vessel burnt for two whole days. Now it sits aground in Cockle Bay, here on Magnetic Island, only 300 metres offshore. With a big low tide, by big I mean low, low tide, you can walk out to the shipwreck um all the way out there it's fully dry the whole way but now because the moon phase is halfway between the tides aren't as big as what they usually well, what they are when the moon's either new or full and that means that this is low tide so shipwreck only, only accessible by foot with quite a low low tide so here's a hot tip with tony all these oysters here that are above the tide line don't taste that great. They're obviously getting hot and getting cooked by the sun. If you want to go harvest fresh oysters, try and get some that sit, uh, that are in the water still, and they're nice and cool because of the water. I should be saying this while I'm harvesting oysters, but I don't have a knife with me. <laughs> I wanted to give you a hot tip anyway. Oysters. Oh. We've just parked up at Horseshoe Bay. I think we're gonna go for a walk around the headland to check out the other two bays that are, wait for that bus. Yeah, I think we're going to check out the other two bays that are around the headland. I think it's called Balding Bay and Radical Bay. So when you hire a car on Magnetic Island, none of the hire companies let you drive down Radical Bay Road, which takes you to all the really nice bays. Because um, apparently it's really potholy. We were told if we like, drove past this point that all these alarms would go off and that would cancel our hire of the car. So there you go, you gotta walk the tracks if you wanna see the bays over that side. Of course, Antonio can now not walk anywhere without taking his fishing bag. No, Unbelievable. In it for everybody, all right? Is that actually why you brought it? Yeah, there's no fishing gear in it at all. What oh. am I going to do? Jump in the water and stab a fish with my eyes and no goggles. <laughs> Not that good yet. That's funny. Man, it is really, really hot, hey? Like, woo. I'm already for looking forward to coming back down because I was not mentally prepared for all these stairs. So this is the turn off for Balding Bay, which is also the nudist beach. But I reckon we're gonna have to give that one a miss since we have the kids with us. I reckon so. <laughs> Antonio is so disappointed. <laughs> 700 meters to go. Visiting the rock wallabies on Magnetic Island was a highlight of the trip. The island is full of wildlife and these little wallabies are very friendly. 
It's common for tourists to come and feed them, but for their well-being, it's preferable you don't give them any food. You can spot them in numbers at Jeffrey Bay. The rock wallabies, they're good at balancing on rocks. Oh, it's from there. That's where they live. We also started the Forts Walk as it's an easy walk to spot koalas on the island. We were only 15 minutes in when we had to turn around, but we did get lucky and spot one sleeping in his gum tree. On our last day, we hired a topless black jeep, which did feel a little odd, but made the experience on the island a quirky fun one, and the boys absolutely loved it. We then spent the morning beach hopping and drinking banana smoothies and eating brekkie burgers by a van cafe near the beach. Rock, you laid on, babe. Thank Remember you, five bro. years ago? Yeah, I took a photo right there. Five years ago. <laughs> Six years ago, maybe. Fresh. Cold? Yeah. Just jump in, babe. Yeah, go for it. That was it. Yeah. yeah? Little Crystal Creek is a popular swimming spot for Townsville locals, so we were lucky we visited later in the afternoon and had the place all to ourselves. The swimming hole is beautiful as you swim under a heritage-listed stone arch bridge that was built in the 1930s depression. Ready? <laughs> Find anything cool? Hey. How's it up there? It's cool up there. There's so much creek for you to go swimming. There's like a rock pool, rock pool, rock pool. There's a little bit of a bigger waterfall up there no. as well. Hey Dad, you play this bike here? No. Ready, set, go. Oh, hey, look what we found. Yeah. <coughs> nice. So this fruit stall here is so cool, man. Like it runs on an honesty box. That's it just there. You leave a note for the owners if you want to. And there's just so much stuff and it's all growing here. These guys grow the whole lot. Which is cool, we ran into one of the farmers, he just came back with some more lychees and told us, gave us a spiel about the place. It's on the way to Big Crystal Creek, so we left Little Crystal Creek and now we're going to Big Crystal and this is what we found. I'm so keen for mangoes man, especially these like... Ooh, that gives me like goosebumps. Smells good. Smells this just is, like homegrown smell. mangoes man. Smells like my childhood. Oh man, we're, get, we're definitely getting some. Yeah, we'll get some. We've got our little basket. Where's our yes, basket? Look at, our basket. get our basket, man. We've got a little fruit stally thing basket. You guys need to see it. It's cool. So good, Leo. Mango. There's the basket. Hey, check it out. We're at our new spot here in Lucinda. Our friends Denny and Lee messaged us on Instagram and invited us to stay with them for our time here. They also own a boat hire company, which is sick. So we're gonna get out there and do some fishing, which you'll see in the next episode. But anyway, guys, that wraps up the episode for this week. Shani's laughing at me. If you do like it, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from us, please hit subscribe. We're super close to 5,000 subs. Thank you guys so much, we really appreciate it. Awesome guys, take it easy. I'll see you guys next week.
Get on. Oh, big fish, big fish, big fish. <laughs>